Welcome back to Windows Fixer. Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been buzzing in the comments. Core Isolation's memory integrity keeps asking for a reset and just won't stick. If you're facing this annoying glitch, you're not alone. Let's break down what might be going wrong and how to fix it. First off, even if your system isn't throwing any red flags about bad drivers, it's a smart move to double check that all your drivers are up to date. Sometimes, an outdated driver can be the silent troublemaker causing conflicts with memory integrity. Next, if you've got any third-party antivirus or security software running, try disabling it temporarily. These programs can sometimes interfere with Windows' built-in security features. A quick test without them might just solve the problem. Another solid method is doing a clean boot. This basically starts your PC with only the essential services running which helps pinpoint if any background applications are messing with memory integrity. Here's a quick rundown. Press Win plus R, type M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G, and hit Enter. In the System Configuration window, go to the Services tab, check Hide All Microsoft Services, then click Disable All. Now switch to the Startup tab, click Open Task Manager, and disable all startup items. Restart your PC and try enabling memory integrity again. If you're running Windows Pro or Enterprise, it might be worth checking your group policy settings. Sometimes policies can unexpectedly block features like memory integrity. Open the Group Policy Editor, gpedit.msc, head over to Computer Configuration, then on the right side look for Administrative Templates, then go into System, then Device Guard, and make sure nothing there is set to disable core isolation, just set them not configured. And finally, if you're comfortable getting a bit technical, you can try a registry tweak. Open the registry editor, Regidiit, navigate to the destination. I will provide it in the description and it will be easier for you. Just copy and paste and change the enabled DOORD value to one. Just be sure to back up your registry before making any changes. That's the full rundown, folks. If any of these fixes do the trick for you, drop a comment below. Let me know what worked or if you found any other solutions. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Windows fixes. Catch you in the next video.